The humble picture frame is something that we all have in our homes, but it's old. Just how old? Let's see. Wow, it's been around for 1700 years. Let's see if we can use some modern technology such as projection mapping and artificial intelligence to add our own creative and modern twist. Picture frames hold, I mean, well, a picture, and only one picture at a time. What if we could make a picture frame that could show multiple pictures? Wait, those have existed since the 90s. Well then, let's be a little more adventurous, shall we? What if we could make a picture frame that changes pictures based on the emotion of a person viewing it? If someone is having a rough day and is feeling a little down, we can show them some cute puppies to cheer them up. The first challenge we need to overcome is how to determine the emotion of the person viewing the picture frame. The simplest way to do this would be to find yourself a friend. Or just duplicate yourself if you don't have any. Then, whenever your emotion changes, your friend can pick a photo to show you. While this works, it is incredibly inefficient and has some drawbacks. Like your friend falling asleep on the job. Or requesting payment for working for you. And not to mention, it'd be kinda creepy to have someone looking at you all the time. But don't fear, we have technology. We could use artificial intelligence to determine the viewer's emotion for us. All we'd have to do is gather thousands of dataset images of varying emotions, buy a super powerful computer, write way too many lines of code, let the computer suck energy from our house for days and days on end, and bam, we would have a mediocre emotion detection system. But I've already tried this method in the past and it was not fun at all. So in the spirit of software engineering, let's just use someone else's solution because we are too lazy to do it ourselves. Thankfully, the helpful people over at Amazon Web Services have created a service called Recognition. It's spelled like recognition, but with a K since that sounds more trendy, I guess? And we can see from the demo on their website, all we need to do is provide an image and it will return data about the emotions of the person in the image. Neat. We don't want to manually have to take and upload an image. Surface, I think we're gonna need to put the projector up on the... Sorry, everyone, I need to... My, my computer's reminding me to check my emotion. There we go, where was I? So let's write some code to automate this process. There we go. A simple script that captures a frame from the webcam and saves it onto our hard drive. Next, we just need to use the Amazon Web Services API to send that photo to the recognition service, and then we will receive a result, which, along with lots of other data, contains the emotion. We simply need to determine which emotion recognition is most confident about. We can then toggle the correct one to be shown. But since we want to run this more than once to catch our every emotion change, we need to throw it into a loop. But this would result in this happening. We would rack up a pretty hefty bill quickly since we are charged for each request we make to Amazon. Thankfully, our emotions don't change that often, or so we hope. Therefore, we can limit our loop to run every minute. Great, we have the AI portion done. Now comes the part of making things look good. First, let's make our own picture frame. I decided to go with possibly the most minimalistic design ever imagined, a square. I went ahead and I created this design in Tinkercad and printed it out on my 3D printer. However, this turned out to be a little too small. Since my build volume was limited, I had to split up the frame into smaller parts and then scaled them up so the final dimension of the frame would be 11 inches by 14 inches. But when I went to print it, I forgot to change the filament in my printer and I managed to print a white frame. Uh, which does not look particularly like a picture frame at all. I then changed my filament back to black and reprinted it out, and this time it looked much better. The last step is to get photos to show up on our newly made picture frame. To do this, I'm going to use a technique called projection mapping using QLab. If you need a refresher on QLab or projection mapping, check out my video that shows you the basics. After I got my projector set up and the output surface mapped to the picture frame, it was time to get the images loaded into QLab. Lastly, we need to connect our facial recognition code to toggle through the photos that we have in QLab. We will use a protocol called OSC, which stands for Open Sound Control, a widely used communication standard in the world of live entertainment. 
Now we just need to call some OSC commands that QLab understands, and bam, we are in business. Okay, now it's time to see if this even works. On the right-hand side, I have the Node.js code, and on the left-hand side, I have the QLab project open. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run the Node.js code using node app2.js. I've changed the delay to 10 seconds so we can see it update quicker. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm going to be happy, so I'm going to smile. Okay, it captured my photo, and it changed the image to happy. That's great. I'm going to be angry now. This is going to be interesting. Okay, there we go. Now it's showing that we are angry. Now I'm going to try to be sad. There we go. That was a... I've had some practice here. And lastly, let's be calm. Sweet, everything works. If you want to check out the source code, I left a link to my GitHub in the description, so you can go ahead and download that if you so choose. If you have a suggestion for a project you'd like to see in a future video, leave it in the comments below. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to support the channel. And I will see you next time.